around town location is Shomolu local government area and I'm standing here in the new site of the Shomolu local government area secretariat that's what you're seeing behind me uh, is a picture of the ultra modern secretariat being constructed here by the council chairman as you can see it's still under construction but I'm being told that by the end of this year that by the end of December this secretariat will be uh, due for uh, commissioning for use by the good people of Shomolu local government area uh, it is ultra modern I'm told is all ensued and uh, the facilities inside I am told are world-class captain smart and around town we definitely return to this secretariat to confirm whether what we're being told on paper is actually what we're going to see inside uh, from the pictures you're seeing rolling around uh, on your screen right now you see the interlocking stones I'm being told also that this council is following the directives from the Lagos State governor who has directed that all roads in uh, Lagos and of course in the local government areas and the local development authorities should either be concrete pavement or interlocking stones and that's what they're doing and in some of the places that have been also in this local government area I have seen that uh, most of the roads are these interlocking stones going around well I'll reserve my words uh, for when we're doing the commissioning of this local government uh, secretariat complex which I can liken uh, to some secretariat belonging to some states uh, across the country some states uh, don't even boast of this kind of secretariat we see here and uh, it's amazing that it is in Shomolu local government area let me ask you a question when you hear Shomolu local government area what comes to your mind I felt that way as well until I took this tour so to local government chairman honorable Abdulhamid Salah and all the people who work in the council at the moment the council staff are in different places so depending on the department you're looking for you have to go to a different part of the local government to see them but when this is completed everybody will now be in one glorious complex which is what you're seeing behind me from right here at the construction site of the brand new Shomodu local government area secretariat complex this is captain smart for around town inspiration 92.3 FM for around town 92.3 inspiration FM you called and we're here today to tour this local government area to see projects and to also gauge the mood of the people as far as development and uh, provision of social services by the government of the local government council uh, is concerned uh, good day sir nice to meet you please would you tell us your name Akinwali Ekunda is my name are you a resident or you have a business here no I do business here so you're always here yes I am here. Oh, what's, what's your experience oh well I'm a publisher I do prints and I've done that 25 years and I've done that in Shumuli 25 years wow so what has it been like it's been interesting you know you start from the smallest of the smallest and then as your business improves you move on to bigger machines bigger companies bigger operations so it's basically it's it's what it is when you come if you're immersed into the work you learn a lot while you are doing your business at the same time what's your biggest challenge doing printing is like this the headquarters of printing in lagos yes indeed so what's your biggest challenge doing printing here uh, the challenge is that for every print work there are several stages to it usually that stage is broken down into different places and so it's in different people's hands and so you need to know how each of them work so that you can anticipate how that one is working from when you are doing this so you have you have to practically know like say four to five to ten companies and their operators and the way they work and they are all here in Shumulu. and they are all here in Shumulu. so for instance you you are trying to publish a book you are going to do pre-press somebody else is doing the separation someone else is doing the plate making someone else is doing the printing someone else is doing the folding someone else is doing the binding <laughs> someone else is doing the trimming so you are going to have to update 
and bring all of them to the same standard. Otherwise, what you get will not be what you're looking for. So are you happy in Shomolu? Well, of course, you should be 25 years. I am because it's better in Shomolu than anywhere else, yeah. to be honest. I've done the same thing in the Badon. I've done it elsewhere. It's not like Shomolu. You can get all that you want to get. If you want the quality, you get it. If you don't, if you want not so quality, you get it. If you want automated process, you get it. If you want handmade, I mean hand, oh sorry, human driven ones, you get it. Whatever you want, it depends on the size of your post and the level of excellence you are looking for, you get it. What about touts, taxes, levies? No, I don't think touts are in Shomolu really. You know, you get a couple of one or two young people not doing something, but they don't harass people really. They will just come to you and ail you and then tell you, bro, South Anna, you know, see us. And then you tell them, oh, I have paper, carry Oh, They'll be glad to carry the paper for you. So they are not really troublesome like that. They're not violent. Are, no, no, they are not violent okay. around here. But taxis and all that, well, I'm not in the local government, so I can't really speak to that. I guess people in the local government or maybe market women will be able to speak to that. But I think it's fair. I should believe it's fair because if it's not fair, you wouldn't see a lot of them doing business peaceably around there. So uh, basically that's it. Thank you. I've just arrived at the uh, market. This is the, the it's an ultramodern market, as you can see. It's still under construction here at Shomolu local government area, and that's the reason you see uh, those traders on the streets. I'm being told by the local government authorities that um, once this market, once the construction is done, uh, everybody will be relocated right inside the market. I have to go and fish out the yaloja of the market, and she's here with me. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name, ma? My name is Oyibode Adejoke, Chief Mrs. Chief Mrs. I hear that you're the uh, lodger. Yes. So, tell me, what, what's going on here? Our market is under construction. Hmm. It burns um, May 30, 2020. During the COVID-19 period, it got burnt. So, we thank God through the help of Honorable Ablamay Salah Udula, because he has really helped us, if not him and God. We won't be here in a new ultra modern market now. So we have we want we are he has tried really really tried for us because he has all effort. We thank God today that we can praise him mm. to the glory of God mm. that our market is now under construction, it's now a modern market. The market that one can show mm. that this is my market in Lagos State. So when are they likely to finish for you? I see plenty of people on the road. When, when is this project going to be completed? Ah, at least the half part of it, they are almost finished. They are doing the interlocking. After this uh, interlocking, people will come in. Mm. People outside that you saw will come in and start doing their business inside the new market before the completion of the other side. So Ma, I want you to tell me the problem you and your market men and women, the problems you have. Because as you are talking, not just the local government chairman is listening, Lagos State is listening. Are you saying all your problems have been solved in this local government area? What will be the problem? Go, go, go. For this market. For this man. local government, for this market. For light this. to road, to sanitation, to, you get any problem? Um, um, our chairman, Honorable Ablame Salah Udula, he has tried concerning roads. All our roads, you can see, Shomolu, you know it's a busy hub. Our roads are good, but light is better compared to other places. But Shomolu, you know we need light. Printers are many in this area, so we need light. So we are having it, let's say 60%. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Thank you, Mama. When they complete the market, we'll come back. Okay. Okay. So I see. I'm sure you've seen the market. Um, it's ultra modern, and this market is in Shomolu, uh, local, local government. government area here in Lagos, and um, it's still under construction. Yes. I'm told that uh, in a few months it will be ready. Yes. So uh, l let's talk with those who are handling this particular project. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? Very well. What's your name, ma'am? I am Oloye Ashabi Mororonoti, cultural ambassador to his imperial majesty. Wow. Yes. So what's, what's going on here? I see you're very busy with paperwork. Yes, I happen to be, well, my company happens to be the one um, awarded the contract to rebuild and remodel Olale Market here in Shomolu. Um, from the contract given, it's... Um, prepared to be 261 units of shops, mixed development of lock-up shops and key clamps. This, these are the things we call key clamps, okay? Um, right now, we've, we're almost through with phase one. This is phase one. And we have 34 units of lock-up shops here. We have 58 units of big key clamps, 26 units of chicken shed, 20 units of um, slaughter slab. Mm. That's what we have here presently. And we're trying to conclude our interlocking paving stones, just giving the, the, the new construction a proper facelift to, to represent what the council stands for at the moment. You understand? So that's what we're doing. And um, um, God willing, by the end of October, we should be able to hand over phase one right here where we're seated. We'll be able to hand over phase one. And we're looking at um, come end of January, Phase two will be concluded. Wow. Yes. I, I see that this construction is the reason those traders are on the street. Yes, that is yeah. correct. But looking at the quality of work you're doing here mm -hmm. and the standard, right? I, I'm I'm a little worried for for the, them the pepper seller, the pepper seller, yeah, the vegetable, the vegetable seller. seller, the orange seller. Right. Will they be able to? Uh, get a stall here in the market. Yeah. What the Shomolu local government has done is to ensure that um, there's a, a mortgage kind of arrangement for them. Because of course we understand, we're aware that it's not everyone that would have the purchasing power. So this, where we are seated is key clamps for pepper seller, the meat seller, the blenders and all of that. So we're, we're in partnership with a couple of banks where we, you know, uh, link them up to the bank. And then they begin, they give them an arrangement, a two year arrangement for them to do an instrumental payment to acquire the shops and the stalls and the sheds and what have you. And they're happy about it. Quite a number of them have come here. You look at all my files, yeah. they are all registered with us. And then at the end of the day, we take all these files to the council and then they issue an allocation letter for each and everybody. So that's, that's it's as simple as that. Going around, I see some of the shops, lock-up shops, mm. already allocated, some of them are sold. Are sold, yes. Uh, who buys them? I hope they come on and come buy because the experience in other places mm. was obtainable here is that the big money buy. Mm. They'll buy up these shops. And then they begin to let. they begin to let. No. What the instruction we have from the council is to ensure that we give First of all, the existing subscribers of this market, number one. Number two, sh residents of Shomolu, we must give them the first right of refusal. Even for those who cannot afford, we must ensure that we link them up with the council and the bank to ensure that we make them comfortable. So it's, it's, it's a win-win arrangement, sort of, for the council and for the residents of the area. They, they are priority. Let me just leave it that way. They, they are priority. We are treating them as such. Thank you very much, Mr. Pito. Thank you. And well done. Welcome. I hope after the phase two in this complex, mm. is there another location in this council? Where you... we, are, we, are, we are hoping. We are hoping that um, um, good luck will smile on us and then we we'll get something to yeah, another you know assignment to deal with. Well done. Thank you.
the around town Shomulu is our location and I've arrived here at yet another construction site in the heart of Shomulu local government area Captain Smart for 92.3 Inspiration FM hello sir yeah good afternoon sir tell us your name and uh, talk to us about this project briefly. okay my name is engineer Bayo Akinagbe and these are all of the edifices we are building for Shomulu local government engineered by the chairman Honorable Abdusala Dula. so it's a lock up shop it's a movie modeling of Alade market the market here before you know after the inside there's a burning and all these issues so he asked us to remove there for them so we are building a world standard lock-up shop and kick out for them so that is basically what you are seeing there but in the next few months you are going to see another difference that what international standards like he requested for so that's what we are doing mm. so in the next few months you're yes. going to deliver this particular yes, yes, project yes. we are looking at december so if there's going to be an extension maybe january or end of january that we can put all, everything together, you know, painting the, um, the, the, uh, the finishing is going on, the roofing is going on then, we are looking at this. December is actually a busy time to, to deliver, but you know in construction there might be an extension, which you are not reading out. But uh, the beauty of it will be that we deliver in December, so you can enjoy the December sales. You call this a world-class facility. Yes. Can you tell us some of the facilities that will be in this building when it's fully constructed and delivered? Yes, yes. It's world-class work because we are going to have a uh, um, water hydrant on this floor and this is real in case of fire so you don't need to run after fire fire that you can use your fire equipment on the ground here there is going to be um the water toilet that comes with ac and also the shower ac in the yes, toilet in the, toilet. In the market yes in Shomuru local yes. Government. yes you know people have been marketing people have been enjoying nigeria Dula is taking them to a new level well, when you travel to UK, you travel to Canada, you travel to US, you can also enjoy the same basic things. This is not that expensive. If they can afford the shop, they should also enjoy the facility. So it's bringing the world to Shomoli. No, I thought people, if you have two of these guys that goes on back to back there, you can begin to see a new show money. So each shop comes with its own prepared metal. Then we have um, the roofing comes, some part of the roofing comes with um, tra transfusion so that light can reflect in the shop. So that's what you are getting. And also you are getting a 50 year standard building. Hmm. 50 year standard building. Both on the building, both on the equipment you are going to see there, it's going to be world standard. Wow. I'm saying this. So that, you know, social media has been on, on ground. Take the picture, then the 50 years time, come and check what you are doing here. By God's, by God's grace, we'll be yeah. here in yeah. 50 years' time to come and do an assessment uh, of this particular facility. This is not the first one I'm seeing here in Shomoli local government area. Uh, I'm out of time, so I have to go. But then, uh, toilet with AC and shower yeah. in Shomolu local government, in local parlance, you say, you didn't want me, but it's up here. Yeah, just call to it. Just call to it. That is what We'll keep an eye on the local government. I'm sure you'd have seen the videos of the other places we went to, uh, the internal roads in the council, and what the people are saying here. Captain Smart on Around Town, Shomolu local government council. to SDG Federal Government and that is Wesley Primary School and Notre Modern School being built by the local government.